I used to do a video series called the Medicare Minute. I want to bring that back for 2024. Let's take a look at one of the most frustrating things for physical therapists. We'll take a look at the Medicare requirements for a progress report. Now, I don't have time to do every element of a progress report, but I want to start with showing you a Medicare published example of what they expect within a progress report. And there's a couple key elements here. Let me share my screen. So behind me on the screen, you can see CMS chapter 15. This is actually page 171 from the Medicare benefit policy manual. And you can see here, I'm going to highlight what Medicare determines and shares as an example of a complete progress report. Literally, the elements that I have highlighted is a Medicare progress report. Remember, a progress report is not a re-evaluation. I think so many therapists think that it is. So let's hit this element by element really quick. The progress report four, and it says 1306 to 12906. So your required elements include the start date and end date of the reporting period. Then it says the number one improved to 80% of trials. Now, Medicare tells us that we don't have to rewrite the goals. We can simply have a way to indicate which goal we're referencing. In this case, the number one is referencing goal number one. Two, achieved. Notice that it is a single word answer. Two, achieved. Um, achieved is all you need. I use met. It's even shorter than achieved, but it still relays the information. Met or not met, partially met. Um, improved to 80% of trials. There's nothing comprehensive in this. It simply satisfies the requirement. Then it goes into comments, highly motivated, spouse assist with practicing compliant with current restrictions. They're not sentences. They're not rewriting everything that was written in the plan of care. It is simply a fragment to indicate, are they progressing? Are they not progressing? Or have they plateaued? What's going on? Now, this is actually even a more complex progress report than most because this progress report is adding a new goal. So the new goal is number five, patient will implement above strategy to swallow a sip of water without coughing for five consecutive trials. That is a, an additional goal updating the existing plan of care. And then of course, there is the therapist name, Mary Johns, the professional designation, CCC, SLP, and the date the report was written, written 12906. So, you know, when I see therapists writing pages and pages of narrative, trying to justify every single thing that they're doing, why they're doing it, how they're doing it, where the patient was, where the patient is going, none of that stuff is required within a standard progress report. And while I am no expert, I can read off the page that Medicare provides us and I would encourage you now to go to CMS Chapter 15, read the entire section 220 and other supporting documentation specifically from your MAC to understand why when I say most therapists are probably over-documenting, uh, of course, some absolutely are under-documenting, we need to have examples like this to look at to say, okay, what is Medicare telling us that they want?